All right. Hi, everyone. Um, this is actually my first first YouTube video. So testing testing out some some tools here to uh, capture video and, and edit and, and so forth. But um, the actual topic of the video is, is to to see how we could use Wireshark to capture network traffic in, in Windows so that we can also filter it by the uh, process ID. So process ID generating or, or receiving the traffic and uh, usually that's not uh, possible because process ID is not included into any of the packets on the wire but, but uh, with, with certain, certain tools and settings it, it can be done. Um, it took me a few hours to, to put together all the, all the pieces of information online so, so maybe this, this video is actually helpful helpful for, for someone out there. So let's start by by uh, installing Wireshark first. Um, there is one, one option that need, needs to be uh, selected during the, the installation process and it's this ETW dump uh, which is needed um, needed to, to be able to uh, process Windows event tracing uh, log files uh, in, in Wireshark. So let's choose that. Otherwise, uh, default default options can be used. I will I will have the desktop icon icon set up. And if you don't have NPCAP installed, uh, I, I recommend installing that that too. So that's basically all there is to to the installation process. At at some point. Uh, the installer will launch the NPCAP uh, uh, installer as well. So let's 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 install that with, with the default options as well. So that's that's everything there is to the actual actual installation part. All right. So the next step is to to actually capture some some traffic using Wireshark. Um, so let's let's fire up Wireshark. Uh, Wireshark, and we are not not capturing traffic directly from from any of the network interfaces, but instead we will use this event tracing for Windows. And uh, the important part is to, to configure the filter parameters, like here. Uh, without any, any filter parameters, it, it's not possible to, to even, even start the capture. So so this this filtering parameter must be used, and uh, it, it uses uh, or uh, instructs uh, event tracing for Windows to, to capture, capture the network traffic. So let's let's use this and uh, let's let's try to start the start the capture. Uh, we are not, not entering any any actual capture filter at this point. And uh, as you can see, it it uh, fails. Uh, the the reason for this uh, seems to be that uh, the uh, Windows event tracing it it cannot be cannot be um, uh, used unless you start Wireshark in. As, as an admin, so so let's do that. Let's run it uh, as an administrator, and then then it should work. So let's start the the capture capturing again. So now we now we start to see some some real real traffic here. So let's let's leave it running running for a while. Uh, meanwhile, um, let me open a uh, command prompt. So I have actually a ping ping command running here, so we can we can find out the process ID of this ping command. Usually, of course, we would be interested about about something else, but um, ping is a good good way to demonstrate this. So so uh, ping is running there, um, and uh, to to find out the the process ID of this, we will use Task Manager, and, and we can filter filter the processes by the name. And uh, uh, here we can find the the uh, process ID of, of this 
this ping command. And in the next step, we will then use this process ID to, to filter the traffic we, we just captured uh, using, using Wireshark. All right, so the last, last step uh, in, the, in the process is to then uh, filter the captured traffic uh, by the process ID. And uh, uh, if you uh, look at any of the, the Bing packets uh, or ICMP echo packets, um, we can actually see this uh, extra part, which is not usually available when, when uh, traditional network capture is, is done. So we have the process ID process ID available here so, so we can filter filter based on it. So uh, let's let's uh, I have it uh, sort of pre-saved here. So let's let's use this sort of filter. So frame dot comment contains uh, and then to be a process ID process ID number. So so here here we have uh, all the network traffic generated by, by that process. Uh, you might notice that we don't have the the actual responses, so so uh, let's let's change the change the uh, filter a little bit so that we get all the ICMP traffic to, to find out the reason reason for that. So the replies um, are actually first processed by the the Windows kernel or, or the network stack so so that's why there is the, the process ID for this is not a problem when when you are monitoring a, a real uh, TCP stream so so then both the uh, requests and, and responses can be uh, associated with the with the correct correct process ID but ping is is a little bit of a uh, challenging in, in this perspective because it's it's um, fully stateless stateless protocol so the uh, the responses or the replies are, are routed to the, the uh, ping process by, or captured for first by the, the uh, network stack and then routed to the ping executable. But with TCP streams, this is the process process um, you can you can use to uh, uh, follow traffic of, of any specific process and uh, could, for example, if, if you suspect that uh, uh, a given application uh, uh, sends out any information. Uh, without letting you know or or any, any, anything like that so so making making sure uh, applications are, are not calling home unless unless uh, that's that's um, uh, something you you wanted to do all right thanks for listening and uh, uh, hopefully hopefully this was uh, helpful